Drivers can expect smoother roads in a few different parts of Terre Haute by the end of the summer. We told you at 5 that a community crossings grant is helping to pay for four road projects this year. The grant is worth more than $800,000. This is a 50-50 matching grant. Now that means the city must match the state money. News 10's Tilly Marlatt spoke with city engineers today. Tonight, she breaks down how they determine which projects to consider for the grant. The Community Crossings Grant will help the city rebuild roadways in four different parts of the community this spring. Assistant City Engineer Marcus Maurer shares how the engineering department decides which projects to focus on. We do have a rating system of all the, all the pavement in the city. Um, we start with that and we start looking at, we've also got a five-year plan that, we, that goes along with that rating system. We, we start picking projects off of that and beyond that then we start picking projects that that extra 50% would help the most. Crews will work on Wabash Avenue from 10th and a half street to 13th street. They'll also focus on Crawford Street from 13th street to 19th street. Yeah, the Crawford job and the Wabash job would get rid of the old interurban railroad ties uh, here in the last five or six years. They've started decaying and, and they end up with a lot of uh, washboard effect on the roadway. A full reconstruction will be done on 13th Street from Fort Harrison Road to Haythorn Avenue. Crews will also repave Prairieton Road from the south side of the city's wastewater treatment facility south to Lombardi Drive. Probably look to see work starting around March or April. Uh, it's a 150 day project overall for all of the work. So they should, should be all done by mid to midsummer. Officials say drivers should expect road closures in the process. In Terre Haute, Tilly Marlat, News 10.